The mysterious visitor Three-Eye Atlas from the depths of the galaxy is currently baffling scientists worldwide, and now it has begun to behave very strangely. What is going on? And what is this object from another star system really all about? The new findings will astonish you, so make sure to stay tuned until the end for some exciting original footage. A warm welcome to you all. The interstellar comet 3I Atlas was only discovered in July this year and has been causing excitement in the scientific community ever since. If you don't want to miss any new findings about this cosmic visitor, why not subscribe to the channel? It costs nothing, you'll never miss a video again, and you'll be helping me out a lot. A thumbs up also really helps the video. Maybe we can hit 5,000 likes to really get the YouTube algorithm going. All right, let's do a quick recap of what's happened so far. After the famous Oumuamua in 2017 and Comet Borisov, 3I Atlas is only the third interstellar visitor we have ever observed in our solar system. And while Oumuamua was more like a mixture of an asteroid and a comet, and Borisov resembled a very ordinary comet, Atlas seems to be completely out of the ordinary. As we now know, this comet exhibits polyarometric properties that we have never seen before. So we are dealing with something completely new, which naturally fuels theories that Atlas is not a comet at all but rather that it could be an artificial object, one that we might even have to defend ourselves against. I say we take off and nuke the entire site from orbit. It's the only way to be sure. First, we need to clarify what polarimetry actually is. It's definitely a good word for Scrabble, that's for sure. But basically, it's about measuring how light is reflected by an object. When sunlight hits dust particles in the coma of a comet, this light is scattered. And the way this happens tells us a lot about the size, shape, and composition of these particles. Think of it like this. Polarimetry is like a cosmic fingerprint that reveals details about a celestial body that we can't detect through regular photography or spectroscopy. And this is exactly where things get really exciting with 3E e Atlas. An international team of researchers led by Suri Gray from the University of Helsinki observed the comet between July and August this year using several telescopes these included the Very Large Telescope in Chile and the Nordic Optical Telescope on La Palma. What they discovered surprised even experienced comet observers. The researchers found that 3I Atlas exhibits an extremely strong negative polarization. That might sound technical at first, but let me explain. At small phase angles, i.e., when the Sun, comet, and observer are at a certain angle to each other, most comets show negative polarization. This is completely normal, but the extent of this phenomenon in 3I Atlas is extraordinary. Scientists have measured a minimum value of minus 2.7% at a phase angle of only 7 degrees. Ordinary comets do not even come close to such values. In the study, the researchers write, this polarimetric behavior differs significantly from that of all known comets, whether interstellar or bound to our solar system. It does not fit into the category of comets with high or low polarization, nor into the unique category that only Hale-Bopp occupies so far. Not even the Hale-Bopp comet, which caused a sensation in the 1990s and formed its own unique polarimetric class, behaves like 3I slash Atlas. So this comet really breaks all known categories and it gets even crazier. The so-called inversion angle, i.e., the point at which the polarization changes from negative to positive, is only 17 degrees for 3I Atlas. This is also exceptionally low. Most comets from our solar system have inversion angles between 20 and 22 degrees. This combination of extremely low negative polarization and a very small inversion angle is unique. The researchers found that the polarimetric behavior of 3 Atlas is most similar to that of certain trans-Neptunian objects. In other words, celestial bodies that lie beyond Neptune's orbit around our Sun. As the study explains, although this result is preliminary due to a lack of data at small phase angles, it is consistent with the red spectral slope and evidence of water ice found in several independent studies. This would mean that 3I Atlas may contain a mixture of ice and dark material, i.e. carbon-rich, light-absorbing dust, which is consistent with other observations. Spectroscopic studies have shown that the comet appears unusually reddish, redder than ordinary comets and D-type asteroids from our solar system, and several research teams have even been able to detect water ice on 3I Atlas, which is not always the case for comets at this distance from the Sun. So what could all this mean? Doesn't an object that's so unique have to be of technological extraterrestrial origin? Are the Melmatians coming to steal our cat? I get into a lot of trouble with the PETA people every time I talk about eating a cat 
but I'll be honest with you, I love cats on PETA. But we can probably do without aliens. This is because the extreme polarization suggests that the dust particles in the coma could be quite large and have a porous structure with enclosed ice particles. Laboratory experiments have shown that thin layers of frost consisting of water ice and dark surfaces can produce precisely such deep polarization minima at small phase angles. This fits perfectly with what we observe at 3MI Atlas. In their study, the researchers emphasize that their measurements so far only represent the upper limit as they have no data at even smaller phase angles. Further measurements can only be taken after perihelion, the point closest to the sun. Then astronomers can observe the comet at phase angles between 0 and 30 degrees. These data will then be crucial for confirming the true polarimetric behavior. But the images themselves are also interesting. In their earliest observations, the researchers were already able to detect a faint diffuse coma around the comet, which grew steadily as the distance to the sun decreased. Later, a tail developed away from the sun, as would be expected. However, the polar metric maps show no significant spatial variations, but rather a fairly homogeneous distribution. Initial size estimates assumed up to 24 kilometers, but this is now settled at around 5.6 kilometers. Even so, 3i Atlas is by far the largest interstellar visitor we have discovered to date. So we are definitely dealing with something very special, but in my view, there is nothing that really points to an artificial origin. Everything we know so far can be explained by the behavior of a comet, but possibly a new type of comet. And that's not surprising because we have to keep reminding ourselves that this cosmic wanderer comes from a completely different corner of the Milky Way. Analysis of its trajectory suggests that it may originate from an older star system with lower metallicity, i.e. with a lower proportion of heavier elements than hydrogen and helium in its home star system. The researchers therefore come to a fascinating conclusion. These results could indicate that 3i Atlas represents a distinct type of comet and expands the diversity of known interstellar objects. So no aliens, I still find it super exciting because every new interstellar visitor teaches us something about the formation and evolution of planetary systems. And who knows what else we will discover when hopefully more of these cosmic wanderers cross our solar system in the coming decades. In any case, I'll keep you updated. So go ahead and subscribe to the channel now and don't forget to give a thumbs up so we can hit 5,000 likes. And speaking of influences from the depths of space, scientists have recently discovered a secret cycle that regularly plunges the Earth into ice ages. Because our Earth doesn't just revolve around the Sun, the entire solar system revolves around the center of the galaxy. You can find out what this cycle is all about and whether we might soon be facing a new ice age in the video shown above, right? As always, there's another video about space and science below, right? Otherwise, I'd say see you in the next video. Take care, folks. <laughs>